Hey everybody, it's Najee Dorsey, and you're with Naj now. What underappreciated artist, gallery, or work do you think people should know about? I'm going to start with the gallery because without the galleries, you know, time, times, are, times are changing. You know, a lot of people are meeting people through the internet, uh, but there's nothing like having the experience of going to the gallery, having the benefit of building a relationship with the gallery, somebody that's really knowledgeable about the field, someone that's really seen a ton of art, you know, can contextualize everything that's going on, not only in the market, but, in, but also in the work that's being created and where it fits within the historical context of the things that have been created in the past. Uh, understanding the market from the retail and also the auction side. So if you don't know about Ken Kelleba Gallery and Corinne Jennings and Joe Overstreet in New York, and you know, you should. I think they are a hidden jewel. Uh, Corinne is amazing. She has amazing work. Uh, and that's the, that's the, that's the gallery that, that you, should, you should be aware of and make sure that you visit when you go to New York. Um, in terms of artists, you know what, man? I think um, there's two, there's three artists that I think everybody should should really would be fortunate to own work by these artists because how strong the work is, and I think that there's they've made a tremendous commitment to uh, their craft and it's exceptional work. And those three names are Stephanie Jackson, Preston Jackson, and Louis Delsart. Preston is the only one out of those three that I don't have a work by his in, in, in our collection. But those are three amazing artists. Matter of fact, let me tell you, let me tell you how, uh, you know, my mouth gets me, you know, Janelle, you said me a long time, that mouth, that mouth, that mouth. That mouth will get you in trouble. One thing about me is you never will have a, have a, have a problem understanding where I'm at on the fence uh, because I'm usually real planted in my position. So I remember uh, one art Basel, and since we got our Basel coming up, this is great content. I remember one art Basel, there was a collector I was working with in Miami, and he came to me with uh, a work of art by uh, Hank Willis Thomas. Now, you know, I enjoy Hank, Hank doing his thing. There was a bronze, the hands up bronze, and he was, he was, um, he had asked me what I thought. And I said, well, listen, if you want to get a, um, a bronze work, you need to get a Preston Jackson. And he's doing amazing work, one of a kind, you know, just powerful work, man. And that collector actually stopped talking to me. You know what I'm saying? I think we're, we have gotten work back to Hank, and you know it don't it don't even matter though. You know because at the end of the day, if we can't be uh, sincere and you know speak the truth on you know where we stand, in regardless to where something is at in the marketplace, because something is demanding a lot of money or they got great gallery representation. Because like I said, at the end of the day, it boils down to that art and. Hank doing his thing, love the conceptual pieces, love the public art pieces he's doing. He's contributing, thumbs up. But if you want a bronze, man, listen, psst, hands down, Preston Jackson, holler at him, check out the work he's doing. And if you're an institution that's looking for an amazing work by an accomplished artist and you don't have Preston's on your radar, shame on you, shame on you. Preston Jackson, definitely, definitely get to know that work and get that work while you can.